Paul, yes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to note that in many states when parents cross the international jurisdictional um, line known as the <laughs> international waters of the world, yes, um, to protect themselves or vindicate or be vindictive to the actual parent, yes. Because, there, there, well, I have it here as a screen print. I don't know why I didn't upload. Maybe I'm going to try to upload it again because <laughs> I thought that it was so good. That there's two reasons that this happens. And I know you, you take the side of the woman. Yes. Uh-huh. But uh, prosecutors, criminal statute of violence, reasonable belief that the child's been wrongfully removed uh, or retained in violation of the Hague Convention of the Civil Aspects of International Child Abduction. <laughs> When you cross international waters, uh, that's international child abduction. And I want my sons. <laughs> and uh, there was no oops, jurisdiction yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for the issuance of a protection order. Uh -huh. The UCCGA applies to most child custody, including domestic violence. Uh, the protection order where I was not given any due process. Right. The protection order that was re reissued after, um, well, 24 days of the allegation of violating the protection order. Yes. Actually, it was the 31st, the 4th, 27 days after. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the, well, um, this is not interstate custody cases. This is actual uh, international waters. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. uh, the issuing court did not have the jurisdiction to issue the dissolution of marriage because of the violating of the RCWs by those that are employed at Healthy Families of Clallam County. Oh, you should have removed it as fine. Oh, oh, oh. Um, There is no lawful right to have my sons. Well, where's that screen print? I can find it again, but I'm, I'm sure of it. About the vindictiveness of a spouse that takes children. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm be missing some pictures. Yeah. Let me just make sure about this. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what you need to do. Right. <laughs> You need to remove all your court orders and you need to remove yourselves from my life. <laughs> then you have to enforce the victim's rights of myself and my family. Yeah. Then you have to enforce some victim's rights of Marilyn and her kids. Yeah. Now, um, when you think about me informing you of the fraud and the exploitation of Legina and uh, my sister in a picture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could be child molestation in the third or second degree, depending on how you look at it. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, we could get the nine A's out, but some. What's what's child molestation? 